Alright, alright, welcome back to Tecmo 101. I'm continuing a series of, play, of, of videos that teaches you how to defend the running plays in Tecmo Super Bowl. We're almost done. Today we're going to be going over a look, pro T dive and T cross run out. Pro T dive isn't going to take that long, so it's mostly going to be T cross run left. And then after I do this, I'm also going to talk a little bit of when the play is useful and when it's not which will become obvious when we do the example. So for right now, let's have the Bills get the ball. They're in coach mode. I'm going to be the Giants in this example, and we're going to try to contain Thurman Thomas on these two plays. All right, as you guys already know, Tecmo 101 gives you all sorts of information on how to play Tecmo better, and this is uh, continuing a lot of the series we've been doing over the past year since it became a video blog. Also, you can check out my previous stuff, techmo101.wordpress.com. Right now, we have the Bills run the ball up the middle with the T cross, with the with the with the pro T dive. It'll be a strong safety. Well, I didn't even have to do anything there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you it again from the uh, free safety. And as you can see, don't be the top cornerback because he gets followed. And then let's uh, let's do one more time. Let's even see if the Bills can bring it out of the backfield because right now the computer is not a morning person. They didn't have their coffee. Oh, yeah. So those are your three defenders. The, sa the two safeties, the bottom cornerback. They contain it pretty good. All right. We're going to hopefully let the computer get a first down here. If not, if not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna let them run the ball. I'm just gonna punt back to them when I stop them. One more time. Oh, they actually made it through the hole. And even if even if you're playing a human and he doesn't go through the hole and up and down, he's not gonna go far. There's only one player I've ever played with in this game that it makes sense to use that play, and that's Bo Jackson. If it's not Bo Jackson, that play hardly ever makes any sense compared to all the other better plays. Now we're going to talk about the play I really wanted to talk about, and that's T-Cross Run Left, which is a pretty good play, but unfortunately it's in a it, it's behind two other much better plays, so it's rarely used. Let's, uh, for the Bills, let's, uh, let's choose the play. And so it's a run-up. So we already know we can't use... The top cornerback, the top safety, or the top linebacker. So I'm going to be this guy. And that's the problem with the line. So let's do it again. If you can tap. Now I'm going to be Gary Reasons who's slow. You see that guy who came back for me? So you got to be careful to hit him at the right time. So let, let's do it again. Oops, picked the wrong play. Let's do it again. This time from LB4 position. Gotta be a little careful when I go through the line. And he didn't come back. And I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, this play is a horrible play. It couldn't ever be used. But say I wasn't that fast with this guy. Let's say it took me a while and oh, there we go. If you if you if you if it takes you too long to get to him, that blocker comes for you. Let me pop back. But T cross L has some very bad weaknesses to it, as you're seeing. You if you have a really fast inside linebacker, the play is virtually the play is going to be blown up. So it only really works combined with other plays. Like say here, right about there is too late. So if I have a slow linebacker too, I won't get there in time. Now T cross L works and you need it needs to work in conjunction with other plays. For example, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna do the run two with Mueller. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be the same guy to kind of demonstrate. Now, I gotta hope to release that guy, but I can't guarantee that will happen in some matchups. In this one, it just happened. I just picked the wrong play. But it, it's not always gonna happen. You only use T cross run L in certain matchups. And because this was a really quick video, I'm gonna press reset and we're gonna go over 
real quick where T cross L really works. And T cross L is designed for teams like Tampa Bay. For example, Tampa Bay, and this is a series I did on the Retro Sports Gamer channel on designing playbooks that go up against certain teams. Tampa Bay has a great defensive back here. They got horrible, horrible linebackers. So against them, you could potentially do this playbook with T cross run L, with the up the middle, with um, this play, and if you wanted to go with this play, you wouldn't have Cobb, you would have uh, Harvey and Anderson. You'd have two pretty good running backs. And then play-wise, you would probably do something like this. And what you're trying to do here is make it hard for, you want to try to make him not be Wayne Haddix, and this opens up the offense, and this takes away the weakness of the plays. So this play you could use against Tampa Bay very effectively, against Atlanta very effectively. And then um, there's a few other teams. Don't Minnesota, you couldn't use it. Green Bay, it's pretty effective because it takes out the LB1 position. And these guys here are all slow scrubs. So this is another team it might be useful against. Um, not New Orleans. They have great linebackers. The Rams, a little bit. Because Kevin Green, it depends. If you could tap good, but it all depends. I think you could use it against the Rams. I would highly advise not to use it against San Francisco, Chicago, Detroit, um, not Dallas. Phoenix Phoenix is another team. Because LB1's great, but these guys, not so good. Uh, Philadelphia, no. Giants, definitely not, which is why I use them. Washington is a team where you could consider it. Because I, I didn't go over DB2 containing it. Because really, I, I mean, even, and this is the other thing I do want to say. Even with slow linebackers, if somebody out taps you, I highly advise you not to use the play unless, you're really, unless you really know what you're doing with it and really practice with it. Like the Jets destroy it. New England, maybe you could use it. Slow running backs, too. Another thing is you don't want to use it with slow running backs. So that eliminates New England, the Colts. There are a few teams, but it makes the most sense when you go up against Tampa Bay and Atlanta. Like, this play could get really useful against Tampa Bay and Atlanta. Maybe a couple other teams, but you got to be real careful with it. Um, and I know a guy who I played recently in a tournament who, who called the play and didn't know all the weaknesses. And, and, and this is for you, Hank. That's why I made the video and kind of went over it a little bit. This way you don't run into it because now you know... And, yeah, it sucks not knowing. That's why I'm trying to make these videos, and I need to get these videos out there because people should know about this stuff. So when you're in a tournament, you get beat based off of things about what you do, not about what, oh, I didn't even know that. Well, the information's out there for you. I appreciate anybody who watches and pays attention. I'm going to be making a lot of videos while we go through the next couple weeks, and hopefully we can increase everybody's technical knowledge. And I got some really good stuff coming up for you guys. Once we finish this basic stuff, we'll get into some more complicated stuff. Anyways, thanks for paying attention to Techmo 101. I'll see you guys next time.